now we're gonna do an introduction to the songs on the record. First song on the album is uh, Higher. 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 Yeah. And that song we basically wrote here in the studio. Yeah. We were here and, and I remember you were just uh, messing around with an uh, old synth. Uh, Korg, Korg Delta. Uh, Korg yeah. Delta. And it's basically like built, the song is built up around one Delta like loop. Mm. It's this one here. Yeah. And I, th I think it's, we choose this one because there's some kind of like a mess here in the end. Yeah. So yeah. it, it's uh, which was sort of not supposed to be, but that uh, makes the song like uh, yeah, yeah, a and bit stuff. more weird. And mm. and we like to have some always some uh, acoustic instruments yeah. in every song. So uh, in this song we have uh, the, uh, like the grand piano, which is like a. Playing the same thing as the Cork Delta was doing, but yeah. it gets yeah, it like gives it more atmo. <laughs> this next song we're going to talk about is called "In the Silence," and it's the title song uh, of the album. And this is basically just a copy of your demo. Yeah, uh, this is a song that was on the demo CD I gave him uh, before we started recording, and. It's based on acoustic guitar and we uh, use live drums, not a, like a whole drum kit. We use snare drums and four drums. But on, on your demo, it, we didn't have any solos. We put in a solo yeah. here. But we, it took a long time for us to find out what kind of solo it's supposed to be. We started out trying to have a guitar solo. Before, we mm -hmm. put a horn session on it. We ended up using a horns, but yeah. here it was guitar. <laughs> Yeah, and the melody, the horns do is very simple. Yeah, it's, it's just it's like the melody in the the listen. verses, like the vocals. Yeah. 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 This is the first song we recorded in Icelandic. Um, <laughs> it it stands out like on the album, at least in my mind, because it's so uh, it's sort of like a country influenced yeah. a little bit. At least, yeah. And yeah, you you brought in a country song and and uh, folk yeah, song folk. and and uh, I was going to the synth state of mind. So yeah. so I was always thinking, what? How can I put like an electronic? How can I make this cool? How can I make this electronic <laughs> into this into this folk song? And and we managed to put a. Uh, uh, yeah, Yama CS10 synth mm. in the end just to get some electronic yeah. element in. Yeah, and actually we have also like a Simmons drums in this, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's really low. Bass drum. Yeah, oh, bass yeah. drum, which is always down under. This drum machine is the drummer in uh, King and Cross. Yes. So this is our Roland. 707. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, we only used it as a click track. Yeah. So we were not really thinking about using it mm -hmm. in the song. And I also, I think I misunderstood the beat, or so we did something wrong mm -hmm. in the beginning. So it's it kind of it's yeah, it, sw it switches like it, somehow, but you you don't notice it if you it, don't like know it. <laughs> Yeah, so it's yeah. This is one of the songs that we did. Like, we got a lot of good people working with us in the studio to help us to get this right. We tried three bass players mm -hmm. on this on this track. So we Sigrid did the first take, then we got Walti, and it ended up being Inky who played the bass. Mm -hmm. Here's the synth part. Was There Nothing is a, just a slow song <clears throat> and we decided just to have it or, or just keep it as a, 
acoustic. Yeah. We didn't even try to put no. any synthesizer in. <laughs> there was no space for anything else, so yeah, it, it, it's just a song that is supposed to have just really, um, yeah, a few instruments and, and yeah. the lyrics to this song are yeah. by uh, Julius, my friend. Yeah. And we did the translation in this room here, in the sofa, with John Grant there, and yeah, he helped us with the translation and, and pronunciations and everything. Yeah. This is one of the songs that was on the demo CD I yeah. gave to you, and and we sort of uh, kept the yeah, original yeah. idea. Yeah. And I, I I had like figured out the drum beats before mm. we got into the studio. But this we is this is not like four four. This is more like a no. This is like seven eighth. Like it's all around. Yeah. Four fourth sometimes and yeah. 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 It's like a, it, it's it's also a really like. A, Drum, drum song, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, we did this. I remember when we were trying to get this because this studio is like a seventies studio, mm -hmm. and it's pretty quiet. It's like we don't have any like live room here, so mm -hmm. it's always pretty dead. So we recorded the drums in the, like in the whole yeah, in the hallway, here. in the yeah. stairway. Yeah. So it's yeah, and it's like many drum kits. I think it's like four or five drum kits. Yeah. To make this just wall of sound. Yeah. This is probably one of the songs that got like the winner of the most tracks per song. You know? Yeah. <laughs> home, I'm making my way home. This is one of the songs we did. Uh, I wrote uh, in the studio when we, when yeah. you were mixing some other song, probably. Yeah. We you wrote this. I remember you wrote this on a on the grand piano. Yeah. And. Uh, we ended up actually changing the piano to a Fender Rhodes, mm -hmm. the first half of the song. I remember we picked up an old Simmons drum machine. Yeah. It's like a, the, the 80s yellow. Mm -hmm. And we did like a, we yeah, played like on an old Simmons drum kit mm -hmm. to get like a, all this really deep analog yeah. drum. I remember you when you brought this. Yeah, this was the last song you brought in. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, because I remember because uh, when you brought this song in, I was like, no, we're only gonna have ten songs on the album. Then we have to throw away one, mm -hmm. and we decided to take away one song, which yeah. we have now in in storage somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I remember when you brought this one in, you had you did this like these drums in Carrots Band. Yes. And and this song. And this song, yeah. And for me, it's like. I didn't like, I didn't. I liked the drums, but I didn't like the idea. It was done in Carrots Band, so we started doing uh, new drums in another uh, with some vintage drum machine or something. And of course, we ended up using the Carrots Band drums. Yeah, and actually, the guitars. Yeah, and are recorded directly into Carrots Band. Yeah, and also the backing vocals. Yeah. We didn't do the packing walls again. They were all just recorded straight into the laptop. <laughs> so it's a uh, we, we, were, we were getting a bit too lazy in the yeah. end. Yeah. But it worked out fine. <laughs> this was on the demo you sent me. Yes. And this is one of the songs that the idea stayed the same. Like yeah. when we started recording. Yeah. Just with more power and with uh, better sounding and yeah. better. Uh, it got some horns in it. Everything. Yeah. The, the thing we never play this song live. No, we don't. not yet. Not yet. Uh, it's because of this part here. We do it when we get, you know, when we get the choir. Yeah. Then when we can afford a big choir. Yeah. It's really minimalistic and only acoustic guitars, two guitars. I yeah, it's, I think it's just uh, you and your brother, mm -hmm. Steny, and the, and the backing vocal part in the middle is just you and your brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the lyrics are... Yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful lyric. 
yeah, it's a beautiful lyric just about love and if you listen to it, you, you really understand it just in the first listen and it's it's a lyric by my father or originally and with and the translation is done by John Grant. <laughs> 